Welcome to the Dunes Golf and Tennis Club. I'm head PGA golf professional, Chris Shaw. Today we're going to talk about chipping and some of our new green side areas um, that we have built during our recent renovation. This particular area sits behind number 12 green. Before the renovation, this was real low area, maybe another two feet down, and it was full of rough. During the renovation, we brought this area up and turned it into fairway or, or collar grass to give our players a little more option when hitting it into this area. One thing I've noticed is that I see four predominant shot types used by players as, as they go around the golf course. Obviously the sand wedge, everybody wants to hit it. It's a, a high, it's a pretty shot. Can be very, very effective. Seven iron, bump and run. Maybe it's a six iron for you, maybe it's an eight iron for somebody else. But that bump and run shot gets up in the air a little bit and runs its way out onto the, onto the green. A new one for me is a, uh, is a hybrid. This happens to be a three hybrid. Again, pops that ball out of the grass just a little bit, gets it on top, and, and, run, and trundles it down to the hole. And then the one we all grew up on, the putter. The nice part about short game is there isn't a right or a wrong. There's just what feels most comfortable to you and what your mind's eye sees. The thing that I tell my players is this, look at your surroundings. Make your shot selection both by what feels comfortable and what you see in front of you. If there's a big rise or the green falls away from you, take those things into account. Maybe it's still the same shot, but by taking those things into, into account, you'll put a better pace on it before you hit the shot. With that said, I'll demonstrate a couple myself. The sand wedge, as we talked about, gets the golf ball up into the air. We carry it onto the green. and let it run itself out to the hole. Seven iron, while it's not gonna carry all the way to the green, it still gets in the air just a little bit, bounces maybe once or twice through this collar and runs itself down to the hole. Next is the hybrid. This is one that's uh, found its way into a lot of people's bags over the last few years. And again, this is one that's going to get just a hair up into the air, but it's going to roll more like a putter. And uh, when taking this shot, you're going to want to swing it a little more like a putter with a pendulum. And last but not least, our putter. I was always told, whenever you can put a putter in your hands, you need to do so. That's just my personal preference. And run it on down to the hole. Again, to go back over the, the main point of this, there is not a right or a wrong answer when it comes to short game. There's what your mind's eye tells you, what you're comfortable with, and again, just take a quick second to view what you have in front of you. Make your decisions based off of the contours, the grass, and the slopes that you have. Come on out, try it for yourself, and see if you can shave a couple of shots. <laughs>